All right, so just got the Matt Halpern Periphery 4 Get Good Drums Pack. Um, now, I've used Invasion for ever since it came out. That was the first drum library that I ever got that I felt was actually competent. Um, nothing against the other ones. I really just, I really dig Get Good Drum stuff um, because of the quality. Now, I will say there is one thing that I had no idea about, and this is something that I feel like a lot of people struggle with when it comes to drum software, and that's routing. So I wanted to make a video on it because with Invasion, I stumbled upon routing, and with this library, I actually figured out what I did. So I wanted to share that with anyone potentially struggling with it, potentially looking for a little bit of answers on what to do um, about routing your drums in Reaper. The good news is it's actually really, really simple. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna assume that you already have contact installed and that you already have um, you know, everything set up there uh, as far as everything downloaded. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to preferences and then you'll put native instruments in here and then scan. So maybe you've already done that, but I figured that was worthy of mention. So now we're going to right click here, go to insert virtual instrument, and we're going to do the contact 64 out. So it's going to ask you if you want all the tracks, just click yes, close out of this for now. So we're going to do all these ones that say unassigned, we're going to get rid of those, we don't need those. So if you hit hold control, that'll allow you to select multiple tracks. And if you want these things to be smaller, you can scroll down. It's got a little reaper trick there. Then uh, select all these sad boy tracks. And just get rid of them. Goodbye. So now we have all of these. So then you're going to go in here, add the kit, and then since I've been messing with this, you probably this probably won't be on your screen just yet. So your screen will look like this. And if you notice when you when you mess with it, nothing's happening. So the reason for that, so we'll click up here, go to outputs. The reason for that is nothing is assigned anywhere. And maybe you have it all coming out of one track, um, or maybe you're just not getting any audio at all. But either way, we're gonna, you could come in here, go to outputs, select that, and it'll bring up this. And what you're gonna do is click this plus sign, and you're gonna wanna make this number 16. You're gonna have 16 tracks. Whoa, not 15, 16. All right, number of channels per one, two, because it's stereo. Um, we'll click delete existing channels, leave this selected, the ascending output assignment. Now this is probably the most important part. You can't forget this part, otherwise it won't work and you'll be frustrated. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the issue that I had the first time. Uh, when I installed Invasion, but I figured it out. So, SoundCard host output, you're gonna just select this first one. Um, so you're basically the first one, and then you're ascending the output, ascending output assignment here. So when you click OK, you'll see it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It ascends. So you're that's what you want right there. So now that you have this set up, and you have all the tracks here. It'll work. You can see these are mislabeled. So some of this stuff is happening. Ah, this part. See, this is the mistake I made, and I just made it for you. And this this proves this is why I'm doing this. So what you want to do is here it's set to stereo 
which means, which I don't know necessarily what that means, but it's on one track and it's stereo, sure. But they actually route it all for you. Like they already have it set up with this multi out advanced. So you literally just set that and now look. See, every, everything is going to its own separate tracks. Which, um, which is super, which makes it super awesome when it comes to like post-processing stuff. Once you have everything written, and you can go through and EQ the snare separately from the kick drum and all of that stuff. So, I'm I'm actually glad I messed up that uh, here because that way you won't. Um, so multi out advanced the outputs, and then you can make that go away just by unselecting it. But yeah, so that's how you set that part of it up. So super quick, fairly simple, um, and you can relabel these. Uh, I mean, it just came out today, so I haven't had the opportunity to go through and rename everything. But um, I just kind of wanted to give a general, this is what you do. Because there aren't too many, there isn't a guide for get good drums routing in Reaper. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you may have stumbled across this already but I just wanted to make this just because um, it's something that I struggled with and so hopefully this is helpful now I'm gonna add a little bit of bonus information here um, I'll insert this new track and I'm just gonna call it drums and then I'm going to select all the other tracks like this holding down control again select all of them including the contact one and I'm going to drag these to where they're all underneath drums so now what I'm gonna do is add this supercharger and it's a compressor I'm pretty sure that smash and grab does the same thing. It's probably way better. I have I don't have super, um, smash and grab yet, but um, this comes free with con with contact. It's with native instruments, and there's actually a lot of really cool free packs here. So if you guys like do any other MIDI programming stuff, like there's some really cool instruments. Some of these aren't. Like, I mean, they're not the highest quality because they're free. But, um, I mean, it, it is what it is. So, I normally just set this one to drum bus, whatever the stock thing is. And I'm, I'm going to let you hear it with it off and with it on. Because this, I feel like, goes a really long way. So, that's with it off. And that's with it on. So, adding the compressor on, a, a, on the main thing, it just... I don't know, it makes it more like fat, it makes it more, it makes it pop out more. And you uh, you especially notice it if you have, you know, four guitar tracks running and vocals and bass and everything, it really makes the drums pop out. And normally I'll throw something like that on the snare and um, the kick drum. And so, you know, I can go over what I do with um, with drums and with production in a different video if that's something you guys want if you guys are interested um, the songs in the background are songs that I've come up with using invasion uh, and I'm excited to continue songwriting with the Matt Halpern signature pack that just came out today um, and if anybody has any questions um, be sure to comment uh, and I'll get back with you so, and I plan on doing a comparison video between Invasion and the new pack. So stay tuned for that, and be sure if you haven't already gotten the get gotten the Periphery Four pack, like it's fucking sick. And Invasion's really cool too. So if you're anything like me, that where you want to have good quality drum samples, even when you're writing, you want the writing demos to sound like the real thing. Um, 
I can't speak any highly, any more highly of Get Good Drums. They're, they're so great. So check them out um, if you haven't. And if you have, I hope this video was super informative. Um, so yeah, peace.